this a <laughs> this story is so damn sick that um I'm just gonna give a shout out. Uh, I'm giving a shout out to Yanni this morning. The bad hat doctor this morning. I want to give a shout out to you today. There's a few of y'all out there that uh, support me and um, come hell or high water. I really want to take the time to thank y'all for being um, subscribers. Thank you for being, uh, you know, Cheryl Livingston. Um, thank you for being a member of the channel. Um, Nappy Scribe and Tron Bailey. I appreciate y'all for being out there um, and commenting on the uh, content. Sarah May West. Ooh, I know. Ooh, Sarah Mayhem. Anyway, Fly Town. Uh, uh, let's see. Jewel Robinson. Thank you as well. Darren Williams, Chopper. Oh, that's cool. You from NOLA, huh? Chopper. Okay. And uh, Vernon Dunbar, Jewel Robinson. I want to thank all of you guys out there. Um, the list goes on and on. Charles Hill, Swindler, um, Madison Specs. I thank you as well for your comments. Big Dez, Peace Freedom, uh, Pisces the King. Thank you all for commenting on the page, for um, being subscribers. Um, thank you very much. And if you can just um, share the content with your peoples, then maybe we can grow this channel and we can get some things done on here, y'all. With like-minded people is what it's all about. There's no sense of trying to force something on somebody else, right? Um, sometimes when you think you have it all together, somebody or something will come and show you that you don't. All you can try to do is be as um, honest and open as possible. Try to remain that way. But at the same time, you know, you can't go through life with your back bent because somebody wants to make you feel um, uh, less than or ashamed of. Time out for that. You got to stand up with your back and posture erect. You understand what I'm saying? Because there is a lot of work to be done. And you know where we should start? Because most of us love this place more than we love anything. We should start right here. A shock parishioners catch Tennessee megachurch pastor in his boxers with Mary co-worker wearing just a towel. Now, they claim they've been cooking chili um, for hot dogs and it's splashed on their damn clothes. See, this this is what I mean by people, um, you know, pissing on you and trying to tell you it's raining. There's no place for that, you know. Um, there's just no place for it. So, uh, the Tennessee, Tennessee, huh? Mega church pastor was discovered half naked with a married co worker by stunned worshipers, only to claim that they'd innocently been cooking chili and had stripped down after accidentally spilling it. I can't make this shit up. This comes from the Daily Mail. Last November, volunteers at the Vinnie Church in Chattanooga, Tennessee paid a surprise visit to Pastor Tarver Smith at his house, but discovered the pastor wearing only his boxers with a married church employee in a towel. The unnamed woman was married to another worker at the venue church. A video circulating online is said to show the blonde woman only seen from the rear looking cozy with Smith, who was divorced, uh, he, who divorced his a wife last year at a local restaurant. What? He divorced his wife in a damn restaurant. Lord have mercy. Speaking of the chili incident, the unnamed worshiper told the Daily Beast, I don't think none of us was that dumb. If she dropped chili on her damn clothes, why are you with your boxers? Was y'all like throwing chili at each other? See, this is what I'm saying. The kind of stuff that they do, they, you know, piss on you and tell you it's raining. 
you know, um, all this sign of, um, you know, some kind of personality disorder where they think they can just tell you any damn thing. They so into their own shit that you're supposed to believe it. You know, just like, you know, I'm always leery of people that if you in a um, relationship, and you should too, you in a relationship with somebody and you love them very much or you what you perceive to be love. And then every time y'all get into a disagreement or something, the person says, I'm leaving. Or, you know, I'm gone. You don't get very much confidence into that person or to that relationship, right? Because in order to have a healthy relationship, you have to go through some stuff. You have to be able to discuss it, talk about it. Sometimes it might even come back up in your relationship. But if you guys are uh, loving one another, sincere with one another, then you should be able to discuss these things. Um, and it shouldn't feel like the, a death sentence because you and your significant other get into an argument or whatever. This couple here, this man divorced his lad, his wife in church. So he has an ex excuse. He was single. But he's an adulterer because this woman is married. And he's telling them that they then spill chili. Okay. And the chili got on their clothes, and this is why they dirty. I'm willing to bet, and I'm sure a lot of y'all is on will be on my team if I say this has been going on for a while. And it's a situation where um they ain't telling the person what's really happening. Their husband. Who should have been the first to know? Okay? When you are secure and she's establishing something that outside of her relationship that she feels comfortable with, but why isn't she comfortable with telling the person she just don't want to do it with them anymore. As opposed to being in the church and letting the parishioners see her half cocked talking about they spill chili on each other. I'm sure she started a, a fight with her husband or had a fight or if she didn't, that's her escape to get out and get with the pastor. See, when they do this kind of stuff, this is insane. They in it. They uh, this. He's film leaning in for a kiss with the woman. He divorced his wife in 20, 2021. Okay. Now he wants us to believe this that they didn't have a relationship going on beforehand. His wife is gone. Her husband is at home and they sitting up in, in the house making out. But they telling the parishioners that caught him, uh-uh, who are you going to believe? Me or your lying ass eyes? I'm so done. I'm I'm done. Um, And, and the thing, <laughs> then you got the pastor over here in Georgia who they done found all kinds of, like, eight people locked up in his damn basement because he decided that he wasn't going to let them go outside, I guess, because they might stop the money. That's how bad it's getting. It's so bad. Lord, help us all. That's why I said, listen, y'all, at some point, we have to really start thinking about what's best for us. We shouldn't be struggling like this or we got to do crazy shit like this. Lock people in the damn house so you can have some income. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm serious, you guys. And I know I'm all over the place with this because these are all church stories. And y'all know how I feel about the pastors. That's a damn shame. Well... They done arrested them. 
okay, him and his wife, and accused them of hiding people in the basement. I can't make this stuff up. It's in the Daily Mail. Y'all check out the article. It's too crazy. It's too crazy. All right, y'all. I got to go because I got to go work out. Y'all know the hardest thing in the world is getting started. So let me go ahead so I can do my 30 minutes for the day. I'll see y'all in the next video.